welcome you all to the agrivision for you youtube channel my name is piyush ulivkar and today we are going to discuss the uh, gate 2022 xc paper particularly fluid mechanics okay so let us begin our discussion with the next question consider an inviscid flow through a smooth pipe which has pitot static tube arrangement as shown find the center line velocity in the pipe so we have to find the vc the center line velocity the pitot tube is is as shown in the figure consider that the density of the fluid is at 1000 kg per meter cube acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square and the specific gravity of the manometric fluid is 11 so this is the given arrangement of the pipe and in this here they have given the arrangement like this they have given the manometric fluid 20 mm gravity is given as 11 this is the direction of flow and the distance is mm so as we know the uh, direct formula for the pitot tube is v equals to under root 2 g into delta h so this is the direct formula and uh, it has come from the uh, by applying the bernoulli points at bernoulli equation at point 1 and 2 okay so after that uh, here our main task is the delta h and we know the formula is so this is the distance x this x is given then uh, this is manometric and this is the standard so our manometric is density is 11 and here um here we will use 1 minus of 1 so 0.02 into 10 you will get 0.2 so that is the delta h put that value here and you will get under root of 2 into 10 into 0.2 so you will get 2 into 2 equals 2 so straight forward direct answer we got the answer as 2 meter per second okay so let us move to the next question so this question is basically according to me uh, little bit out of syllabus because the syllabus of this particular um, section is not given in the uh, syllabus but uh, we should know the one formula before that uh, i will first read the question the speed of propagation is c of a capillary wave depends on uh, the density it is a function of density of fluid the wavelength of the wave the surface tension if the density and the wavelength that is the density and the wavelength remains constant then having the surface tension would lead to a new velocity c dash both are constant then we can say that this thing is a function of sigma only but by just uh, uh we put here sigma by 2 then what changes we get in the c dash for that we have one formula this uh, topic is from the advanced fluid mechanics topic and uh, the formula for this is c equals k under root of sigma rho lambda okay but since we know all the things are constant except sigma so we can say this we can say that c is directly proportional to the sigma and c dash proportional to the sigma by 2 so what changes we get we, we will simply put sigma by 2 rho 
lambda and ultimately what we will get we will get the c equals a sigma by 2 rho lambda so if we just simply divide this equation 1 with this equation 2 you will get the answer option c option c as the answer okay so let's do it option c is the required answer for that let us go to the next question okay, okay. so a typical boundary layer over a flat plate so this is a flat plate and this is the boundary layer as a linear velocity profile with the zero velocity at the wall and the free steam at u infinity at the outer edge of the boundary layer what is the ratio of the momentum thickness to the thickness of the boundary layer okay. so we can directly use okay but for this simplicity what i am doing i will just uh, uh, substitute u by u infinity as eta so you will get if you solve this particular equation then you will get then you will get delta by 6 so theta equals delta by 6 so theta by delta equals 1 by 6 so straightforward you will get the option C as your answer ok so that is what we need to calculate ok so I hope the uh, answer is clear so now let us move to the next question Okay, so this question is from fluid kinematics. So let us read and solve this question. For an inviscid fluid with a density 1 kg per meter cube, the Cartesian velocity field is as is given as. So you have the u minus of 2x plus of y t. You have v equals 2x plus y into t neglecting the body forces find the magnitude of the pressure gradient so whenever there is a pressure gradient you must uh, use our navier stokes equation But since in the question earlier it is given that for an inviscid fluid, for an inviscid you can say that this term will become zero. Again they told neglecting the body forces. So please neglect the body force here. Then you will have this term. You can simply write it as equals to rho into this is the acceleration so you can write it as the acceleration you can write it as the acceleration and in the given question it is given that 1 kg per meter cube will be the density of a fluid so that's why you can directly tell that this will become 1 and you will have only this term so the pressure gradient will be equal to the uh, nothing but the acceleration of the fluid 
so to calculate the acceleration of the fluid in the x direction if i talk about in the x direction you have del y so this is the acceleration in the um, x direction and uh, acceleration in the y direction is u del v by del x plus v del v by del y plus of del v by del t by this way we can put here minus 2x plus y into t into del u by del x so del u by del x will be minus of 2t plus v is plus y into t k into <coughs> del u by del y so del u by del y will be t only plus del u by del t so del u by del t will be minus of 2x plus of y and here the values of x y and t is given so you can directly put it as minus 1 this will become minus 2 plus of plus of minus 1 so you will have 2 plus 3 minus 1 equals 4 <coughs> similarly solve for this also of 2x plus y into t into del v by del x to t plus 2x plus y into t into del y is t plus 2x plus of y so here you can solve minus 1 into 2 plus of 3 plus of again you got the same uh, value for the both the acceleration in the x and the y direction so ultimately under root of 4 square net acceleration will be twice of 4 square so 4 under root 2 so that is the value of the acceleration but since you know that the pressure gradient will be equal to the acceleration so that's why our final value will be 4 under root of 2 okay so that is the required answer so i hope you understood the basic concept of this question So now